Good evening, friends, on this great Minnesota get-together eve. Yes, that's right. Come tomorrow, we will flock to the fairgrounds by the millions. We will toast our ears of corn. We will adore the sculpted butter. We will delight in the deliciousness of this most Minnesota thing. But before we pack up that sunscreen, the kids, and wash out our old cookie buckets for a fresh batch, let's nosh over some fun fair facts. Did you know that our fair is really old? Yes, indeedy do. The fair held its first fair on the grounds it now occupies in 1885. It had some stop and go in those early years, but the only year the whole thing got called off was in 1946. Why was that? Well, the nation was in the middle of the polio epidemic. And before the fair called its current home where it is, it was held in other cities. Do you know which ones? I'll wait before I tell you. One, two, three. Okay, time's up. The other cities were Minneapolis, Rochester, Red Wing, Winona, and Owatonna. Fair weather has not always been in the forecast. The coldest day on the grounds was back in 1890, when the thermometer dropped to 33 degrees. Hottest day ever? 1931, 104 degrees. Yikes. Neither of those extremes are coming, according to our fair lady forecast from Bell. Appreciate you, Bell. One year, we were flying high with pride at the fair. That was June of 1910, when the first airplane flight in the state happened. Yes, of course, on the fairgrounds. But we all know what we all talk about when we talk about our fair. We talk about the F word, food. There are 300 food stands inside those 322 acres. The oldest among them, the Hamlin Church Dining Hall, setting up shop in 1897. The all-you-can-drink milk trough came to be in 1955. Every year, did you know, they serve up to 26,000 gallons of milk. The average customer downs two to three cups a visit. Them some strong bones, Minnesota. And while we know we eat a ginormous amount of Martha's Sweets, did you know y'all eat four million mini donuts every single year? My goodness. A good palate cleanser for that, of course, is corn. And dang, do you nibble that cob to the tune of 25,000 ears at the fair. And speaking of corn, corn dogs. 365,000 of those are handed out each season. And in 2016, the fair sold its 25 millionth pronto pup, which is not a corn dog, not at all. No, that is a subject of a lot of heated debate. Which brings me to this last bit. Call it a call to action. What if we all, this fair year, decided to be fair to each other on these historic grounds? What if we played Minnesota nice day and night? What if we paid it forward? What if we randomly acted with kindness without ever looking back for recognition of it? What if we did that? I think it's a fair idea to try. Yeah, challenges out there to everybody. And just so you know, that 25,000 ear of corn bit, that's a day. That's how many you all eat a day. So get ready. We're less than 12 hours away from the great Minnesota get together. And we are super excited to tell you. That's why we've told you every single day, like a mom saying, clean your room. Breaking the news is going to go there. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we're going. Tomorrow night and Friday night at 6.30, so please come out and say hi. We've been looking forward to meeting you for three and a half years at this point. So we're due, and we'll see you tomorrow night. Where will you find us? In a barn, of course, the CARE 11 barn. It's at the corner of Judson and Nelson. You can watch the live show. We also have free water. That is a perk. We have a penny press. Kids love it. And, you know, you've got me to make fun of or, you know, take embarrassing pictures with. All of that can happen for you.